I like the idea of a radio because I grew up in an age of a radio where I was when I was a child. It allows one to imagine as opposed to giving them everything or almost everything. Sometimes it's always good to just, just take a risk and just draw a line. From there, the image builds itself. So this is like the ignition, allowing the process to guide. I find it to be an approach that sets me on the right foot. It allows me to drift free. Nicholas is an interesting person, you know? So he doesn't give like you the instruction, like you have to do the work and finish. He engages with you also while you're working, you know? So it's better to work, work, then do other things, then come back to work. Then when he's around, then he tells you like, hey, you can go this way, you know? I tell my, the people who are assisting me to do the work to always just have fun with it. Don't be too serious about it, because when you try to be too serious, you won't do it. It's a waste of your time. I make these lines, the lines are easy to make, but then how you get to force those lines to assume some new role, you do it or almost childlike. It brings something to the fore, you get to learn something from it. Occasionally I make a sketch, especially for sculptures, I make a sketch, so this is what I have to do. But most of the time, I always go into the idea of working with a word, with a theme, because I believe a word, especially nouns and even verbs, they relate to objects and what objects do. This is a heel of a shoe last for, for this painting. It's going to be named Fagunyao, as in, like, you know, you insert your foot, and like testing the water sort of thing, or stepping up from that. That's Kosa. It's Faka, which means inset, plus foot. So it's Faka Unyao, but to make it one word, Faka Unyao. It's important to go astray, because if you are in a foreign city and you get lost, then you'll discover some alleyways and some avenues that you will not necessarily discover had you been placed on the right path. The Silent Wind Orchestra. Initially, the musical instruments are thought to have them in one of the canvases. And that idea grew that actually they could stand by themselves. They are wind instruments. If we have these elongated brass and copper tubes that are connected to, to the trumpets, the bugles, they will still be music instruments. And we had to somehow shift that notion of music instruments and also perhaps it would be used as a metaphor. If you think about blowing your own horn, you're too ambitious. Listen to what's happening around you become a little antenna that is allowing everything to flow. Some things pass and you grab the ones that are important. Keeping all your doors open, that's what's important. 